contestant. Welcome to App of the Day. I'm Will. I'm Norm. Today's app is Mega Mall Story. Mega Mall Story. Okay, I'm gonna get, make one guess. By the developers who did the game, that story. You're looking at the thing at the possibly, bottom. Possibly K Rosoft. Possibly also uh, Grand Prix Story. Yes, and Hot Springs Story. Oh. This is the Mall of Toledo. It's my mall. Uh, actually, oh. you know what? I'm gonna go back. You know, you like Toledo. I do. Toledo is one of my favorite words. Yeah, you use it for passwords all the time. It is not. Toledo has never been my password and will never be. Uh, uh, are you I'm sure gonna, about that? I'm going to start a new mall so we can show okay. people what this looks like at the, at the very beginning. And then we'll so, go back first of all, it's an iPhone game. Yeah. Hence the shrinky shrinky button on the bottom. Uh, if there is any uh, if past history, what should we call this? Uh, Normal? Uh, wow. Should I intercap? No. It's there the, mall, no, the normal. It's yeah. It's 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 wow. <laughs> Wait, what? That was completely unnecessary. Of course, it's okay. perfect. That's normal a, was clever. Nor, normal Somewhat. sucks. Normal. Normal sucks. Uh, I'm not normal. You're you're something. Okay, so it could be abnormal. The way this works is just like every other one of these games. Okay. You have a secretary who is your helper slash tutorial. Yeah. She walks you through many processes. Yeah. The goal is to make the mall five stars and be the biggest mall in America or the who world. Who rates the malls? There's a mall board. Oh, okay. There's a there's a mall standards body. Mm. Uh, she, I aspire nothing less than a five star mall. These these the mall doesn't have any stores. Wait, it does. Uh, so you can, as with the game dev story and things like that, you you have different types of uh, 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 resources. So okay. in this case, there are hearts, which are up here in the top right corner, and money. Hearts you use to buy upgrades, money you mm -hmm. use to build things. But unlike like game dev story, you actually see the fruits of your labor. You can see them uh, all. Yeah, you never get to play the game in game dev story. Right. So let's see what kind of what we have here in the mall. We have a green grocer. It looks Taller. like. Taller. Taller. And we have a flower shop. Uh, uh oh. First customer. Woohoo! Oh my god, are they gonna go to the flower shop or the green grocer? Uh, Let's see. Closer? I think that's my helper. Yeah, she's my uh, she's my floor manager. Looks like they're going to no 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 pro produce! They're yeah, buying produce. People love produce. Let's build some more shops, Norm. Okay. How about um, you build a cafe? I love coffee. Uh, okay. I think we should have cafes on every floor. Two spots. We'll put a cafe up there. Wow. Put a cafe down there. Put another cafe over there. Because you know, I think you can't have enough cafes. Alright. Is is this like a tiny tower? Uh, it is not a uh, Farmville clone, if that's what you're asking. Oh, okay. Uh, what's the uh, end game for this? Is it time base? Is it? Uh, I, did these these don't. Oh, uh, you mean what's the what's the win lose condition? Yeah. You have 15 years. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, your, to your be your the biggest mall be... in the world. Oh, okay. Your Wait, I will be uh, out of style. An orphaned. Uh, can, can you get singers to sing at the mall? I haven't gotten that far yet, but oh. I hope that there is a Tiffany tour. Okay, so there's some, some things that are important to note here. Uh, each, oh, mall news. Mm -hmm. There's a new player in the mall industry, normal. Sucks. When asked for a comment, the manager's secretary said, while we have a limited selection at the moment, we'll be on our way to becoming a one-stop shopping solution. It has been a long time since we've seen a new phase in the industry, and we look forward to seeing what will happen in the future. All right, that's the distant future. not so bad. Uh, I fear for the structural integrity of this mall. I'm building more. We gotta have more. All right, scroll down. Bakery, what, what other types home goods, of stores? supermarket, oh, florist. So boring. Bakery. Do you unlock more stores? Yes. Okay, store types at least. There, yeah, you have to research them, uh, and you trade likes for store types. But the, but you also computer trade, store. Computer store. There's no computer store yet. Ah. We aren't that far. I can we can transition over to uh, the mall of Toledo. Uh, let's let's go like. check out the mall of Toledo. Let's, let's before we do that, let's show this mechanic. Okay, so here's the thing. Their services. So each of these is like a power-up. So this one is going to add a shitload of inventory. Uh, one of the things you have to manage, this is an important thing to note, each store starts with a stock, uh, base stock level. Uh, for small shops, it's five of five. For some of the larger stores, it's like 20 things. But when you run out of that at the end of, a, mm -hmm. at the end of an arbitrary time period, which I think is a one month, then you can no longer, that store closes, you can't make you can't more sell, money off of them. But it gets resupplied. So it gets resupplied. You can also add things that make your store more desirable. For example, a coffee shop, espresso, is something that will make it desirable. Right, because you're going to open a coffee shop and not have espresso. In. Right, it'd be the worst coffee shop yeah. ever. Okay, so now my coffee shop has espresso. That's going to add to my stats for the store. Quality nice. goes up, rep goes up, and Wait, I also got three more stock as well. As well. So uh, you don't necessarily, so you want to increase stock, you want to increase quality, you want to increase reputation all at the same time. Mm. That is very important. I like the idea that you own all these stores as well. Well, you know, it's a no, no it's franchising, faceless multinational corporation. 
Uh, other thing to note is that uh, when you put certain types of stores together, then they, they play off of each other and they become more powerful. So, for uh, example? For example, if I put uh, payphones, I don't have bathrooms yet, which seems like probably a mistake. Bathrooms next to the fast food chain? If I put uh, payphones on the floor with the bakery and the cafe, mm -hmm. the reputation goes up for People everything on that like, floor. People uh, like getting croissants and talking on the phone. Exactly, because you know I used a payphone just uh, 15, 20 years ago, Norm. What about you? Yeah, uh, I don't know what that is. I'm going to go back out and go to system, and let's go load up the mall of Toledo. Okay. I'm not very good at naming things. When I see other people who play these games, then they have really creative names. And yeah, they are very like clever. Mall, Toledo, Chloe Mall, Tree Mall. Yes. Willtopia was always my go-to. Mm. Um, these are exactly the same save. This one has more money. Continue. Okay, Ooh. so this is the Mall of Toledo. Pretty big. You can zoom in. Oh, nice. Just a little bit, though. Uh, if you see, I have upgraded, so I have escalators available to nice. me as well. I also have many different kinds of stores. Enable la laziness. And customers. I have 32 hearts. One thing I noticed very quickly, it's important to zigzag the stairs so that people can, you know, just get to the top as quick mm. as possible. Other things that I found, uh, if you put highly desirable stores at the top, people are more likely to stop and shop on the way up, which is kind of a oh. social commentary yeah. about our herd mentality. Talk about the, the awesome malls in Japan. I've never been to Japan. Have you been Tokyo, to Japan? yeah. Tokyo has these awesome seven story uh, shopping centers. Um, they're not very, it's only one store per, shop, per, per floor, okay. per story. Uh, but you start on the base floor with like action figures and then you go up all the way to airsoft Really? And then there's porn somewhere in the middle and also bubble toys. Are these all one store? One store per floor Seven stories. So here's my game awesome store. stores. I'm gonna add I'm gonna add strategy guides. Wait, fuck that I'm not adding you don't need strategy guides. Don't ever buy strategy guides uh, I'll put arcade sticks in they cost 25 though. Man, can we do, look at your uh, your selection of stores? Uh, yeah, let's look at we can go to, definitely go there. I have some more uh, some more facilities as well I have escalators you'll see I have mm -hmm. bathrooms so that people can go to the bathroom. Toy I can sell toys. toys leafy plant Yes, I planted a leafy plant a minute ago. They're kind of expensive uh, You have fast food game store candy store green grocer uh, The interesting thing is again some of these things work together So for example if you put home goods a florist and uh, well here we can just go look at the combos uh, info, oops, info combos. Mm. Uh, yeah, here we go. So the kids combo is the toy display, the candy store, and the vending machine. Kids go wild yeah. for vending machines. I don't like they give you the combos. You I have to buy these. Oh, okay. So uh, these are pretty expensive. They cost like seventy five thousand dollars. But usually. they work if you. They, they still work even if you unlock them. It's unclear to me. I, I don't. I haven't gotten far enough to find that out. This is one of those games like Game Dev Story and Grand Prix Story. It's one of those things. That's Game Dev Story was so addictive. It was just really cool to un, like to discover a combo. Like, oh, I think a ninja adventure game would work. Yes. Or a a animal style card oh. collecting game would also work. Closing time. Time to go home now. Uh, one of the things I do like about these games is that they're designed to be played multiple times. Mm -hmm. So you you yeah. keep certain aspects of the game as you transition from the first to second playthrough. There are external forces that affect you. For example, right now the economy is kind of bad. Sometimes it snows, sometimes it rains. Uh, there are also investment opportunities outside of the mall. So, uh, for example, I could expand my mall horizontally if I want. That's pretty expensive. I don't have that much money right now. But if I want to make uh, slums for people to live near me so that it's more convenient for them to go to the mall, I can't. Hmm. Or work at the mall? Uh, no, I think this is just for, for potential customers. Okay. Uh, gonna sit, sell a bungalow to this guy for 50 grand. Or actually, I'm gonna build a bungalow for 50 grand so that this guy can come here and live and spend money in my store. That sounds crazy until you realize that they spend like two or $3,000 every time they go to the grocery store. Wow. Quick, quickly pays back. Yes. Uh, do you see this guy right here with the star over his head? Yes. Oops, I missed. Hold on. Oh my god. Uh, nope, that's He's not a funny him. hat. It's a star. It's, it's not. He, that's him. He's a star man. His name is Jim Maxwell. He's a waiter. He is a regular. That's what the star means. Uh, he likes food, electronics, and entertainment. He's a, he's a mole rat. And he visits here a lot. Let's see what he says. High quality just makes me want to buy, buy, buy. Wow, that could be your like Twitter description. This uh, this store, this game, is pretty much a scathing indictment on uh, consumerism? American consumerism. Yeah. And mall design. And, and also, yeah, mall design. Uh, here we go, uh, fast food. You can make food courts. I have a movie theater now. It's pretty fun. It's, you know, like all of these games, they're not super compelling moment to moment. It's not like it's a hard hitting action game. Yeah. But it's the kind of thing they do just a really good job of keeping the carrot just three feet in front of you. So you keep wanting to reach and, and get, get more carrots. Movie theaters and malls really are not a prop, profitable proposition. You don't like movie theaters? I like that one in, West, uh, in uh, Westlake. 
Westfield. Westfield. Downtown. Yeah, that's a good movie. It takes a lot of space, and the margins aren't that great based on the space from a business perspective. Do you not buy a? I buy a sli an icy every time I go in there. Oh, that explains a lot. I don't go to the movie that often. Okay. Also, uh, so I'm trying to think if there's anything else we've forgotten. Uh, there is, of course, at the end of the year. Uh, there is a judgment phase. One of the things that I like that they've changed is along with that, if your position improves, here's the way, the places you can upgrade to new types of things. For example, I can get a PC store that costs 90 hearts. I only have 37. Uh, one of the things is at the end of each season, you get a bonus if your position has improved or if you're in a certain ranking. So like when I was uh, mall number 500 or something, mm -hmm. oh hey, my bungalow is done, congratulations. Uh, when I was in the 500s, I got like a $200,000 bonus. So unlike Game Dev Story, where cash flow management was a real problem, it's not as much a problem here. Uh, the other thing that I like is that they make generating hearts much easier than in some of the earlier games as well. So, uh, for example, this popularity meter, when it reaches the end, will drop into fever mode. And when you're in fever mode, every single person who comes into the mall generates one heart. Uh, so what you can do is use advertising budget and stuff like that to boost the number of people that come in during that window. So you collect hearts. Yes. Uh, there are seasonal promotions and sales and stuff like that, so it, it's a little bit more predictable what's going to work and what isn't, rather than just trial and error, which was kind of my big complaint with Game yeah. Dev Store. But at least uh, you get to see a pretty cool mall at the end. Yes, and the other thing that's important to note, your stores can level up. For example, my produce stand is level Three, but level four now. Wow, when did that happen? Are there random accidents? Uh, I haven't had a random accident yet. Thievery, looting. This game's relatively new, so uh, I, I don't know exactly what you know. I, I've been playing it quite a bit since it came out, but I haven't I haven't gotten all the way through a 15 year cycle yet. So no elevators. Uh, I haven't gotten I haven't unlocked them yet. I'm relatively low. My star my my uh, mall is only two stars. Wow. And it t the nice thing is it tells you the conditions to meet three stars. I gotta have revenue each month of 150 grand. I have 30 stores. I don't quite have eight regulars, uh, but I and I don't have a service center either. So uh, I have to first research a service center, which is going to be kind of expensive as I recall. Buy plans, uh, service center is all the way down here at the bottom. Oh, wait, no, oh, there was. Service center is 120 stars. Yeah. So I need to get a lot of stars. Um, and then, uh, probably by the time I reach 120 stars, I'll have gotten the revenue and population up to the point that I can, uh, you know, level up. So, uh, this is Mega Mall Story. Mega Mall Story. Mega Mall Story. It's iPhone only right now. I don't, have they released iPad versions of those earlier games? I don't think so. It's just iPhone, huh? Yeah. Uh, it scales up nicely on the iPad. I've, I've been playing on the iPad. I like it a lot. Yeah, cute graphics. Mega Mall Story, Norm. We'll be back tomorrow with another app of the day. I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.